I want to reassure them and the wider public that we are doing everything we can to give them that reassurance and the answers to the questions they des desperately want. I also want to take this opportunity to offer my heartfelt thanks to everybody who has called with information, as well as our teams who continue to work around the clock following the lines of inquiry that have been generated as a result of this incident. This is an extremely complex and sensitive investigation with heartbroken families at the core of it. We are determined to ensure that we keep families at the centre of everything that we do. I'm now going to hand over to my colleague, ACC McLaughlin, who will be able to give an operational update as to the investigation to date. Thank you, sir. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm Assistant Chief <coughs> Constable Tom McLaughlin, and I am the senior officer leading the investigation into the legacy independent funeral directors in Hull and East Riding. Whilst I understand that everyone will have questions in relation to the inquiry, I must stress at this stage we are at a critical point um, and I have to protect the ongoing integrity of the investigation. Therefore, I am unable to provide full details at this stage. However, what I can confirm is that late last week we were called to legacy independent funeral premises on Hesel Road in Hull following reports of concerns in relation to the storage and management and processes of the deceased people within those premises. I can confirm at this stage that between Friday morning, the 8th of March, and the evening of Saturday, the 9th of March, we have now recovered a total of 35 deceased who have now been respectfully transported to the mortuary in Hull, and formal identification procedures are now taking place. In addition, we have also recovered a quantity of what we suspect to be human ashes. We are in the process of carefully recovering all of those um, ashes and taking those to the mortuary. So far, we are pursuing extensive lines of inquiry and I have specialist search and forensic teams conducting thorough searches at various business premises that are linked to the suspects that were detained this weekend. I can confirm that a man and a woman have been arrested on suspicion of the prevention and lawful uh, and decent burial, fraud by false representation and fraud by abuse of position. They have since been released on police bail with conditions whilst our investigations continue. I recognise that this is a distressing time for all of those affected and I have no doubt it will have a significant impact across all our local communities and beyond. However, this is an incredibly lengthy in investigation and a highly intricate one at that, with many extensive lines of inquiry. I have a dedicated team of over 120 Humberside police officers and police staff, together with partners from across the region and nationally. This reflects the sheer size and scale of this investigation and our shared commitment to establishing the truth and, where appropriate, seeking justice for those who are affected. The dedicated phone line remains open, and thus far we have received over a thousand phone calls from members of the public since Friday. I would encourage anyone who has concerns about the service, they, the service that they have received from legacy independent funeral directors that have not yet contacted us to please contact us on the dedicated hotline. I'd like to take this opportunity to speak directly to the families and loved ones affected by this truly terrible set of circumstances. My heart goes out to you all, and I can only imagine how distressing this is and how upsetting it will be for you and your families. I know that you will want and need much more information than I can give you today, but as we progress with the investigation, I want to reassure you that we will provide you updates as soon as we can. And I also want to give you a personal commitment that I will do everything possible to give you the answers that you deserve. We will continue to work closely with His Majesty's Coroner and colleagues from Hull City Council and East Riding Council. And cordons will remain in place at the business premises on Hesel Road. <coughs> Meantime, I would ask that people refrain from speculating and continue to show the utmost respect for the bereaved families, their loved ones and all of those that are affected within our communities. These are difficult times for us and it is important that we look after and support each other moving forward. Thank you. As you will appreciate, this is a complex, large and ongoing investigation which will take some considerable time to complete. 
we will be diligent and we will be thorough to ensure at the conclusion, if possible, all the families get the answers that they need. I want to thank all our staff who have supported the investigation to date under very, very difficult circumstances. And finally, as I highlighted in my opening, at the heart of this investigation are the families of loved ones. Many will be shocked, horrified and re-traumatised through grief following the disclosure of facts of this case this week. I therefore request that families are given time and space to process the events of the last few days and also they're provided with privacy moving forward at this very, very difficult time. Thank you very much. Thank you.